Donovan, MD's Jindal channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Jindal channel on this awesome Memorial Day, you guys. Happy Memorial Day to everybody. What's everyone doing? Where are you guys? What are you doing? Are you having barbecues? Are you boating? Are you beaching? Are you uh, laking? What are you doing? And what are you drinking? Let me know, because I got some fun things to show you guys. I want to start out and say happy birthday to a good friend of mine, Adrian. You know who you are. Happy birthday to my really good friend, Adrian, up there in Fort Pierce. I bet you're hanging out at one of our great local restaurants out on the water, Cobb's Landing. So happy birthday to you. Also, you guys, speaking of birthdays, you know that it is my half birthday today. Kind of strange. Ah, hi, Lila. Happy Memorial Day. Listen, uh, Lila, if you've uh, found any shoes laying around anywhere, let me know. Anyways, you guys, goofy. But anyways, it's my half birthday, so happy half birthday to me. I guess it's a thing now that people are celebrating half birthdays. Hey, Amanda Hart, how you doing today? So let's get right into the good stuff. I've got so much good stuff to show you guys. First, I'm drinking a rosé because... It's pretty much, it's summer everywhere, and it's rosé all day time. And I have told you guys before, <laughs> hi, Kevin. So I've told you guys before, two of my favorite rosés, and you guys, I can't stop drinking them. Chateau St. Michel, it's from Washington. It is delicious, and it is on sale, if you're local, at Winn-Dixie right now, and it's $8.99 and it does not taste like an $8.99 wine, but it's kind of hard to see. Chateau Saint Michel Rose. It's excellent. And of course, my boyfriend Josh. It's kind of almost gone. You know, but these are two great. This one is $10.99. So you guys, I'm telling you, these are two great roses, and you're gonna need them for some of the recipes I'm gonna show you in about two minutes. So We were just at Winn-Dixie. I'm telling you, they even have on sale right now, one of my other favorite, my cats, the Federalist, which is generally like a million dollars, buy two for like $18, so it brings the price down. So if you guys are local, check it out. So these are two of my favorites. I've been telling you about Rosé forever and you're gonna need it. But also congratulations to the Indy car, Indy 500 car driver, American, Joseph Nugard, who won yesterday, so congratulations to him. We don't even want to talk about the uh, the first guy back in 1913 that was drinking champagne throughout the whole race and won. My kind of guy. Anyways, also, get ready because it's right around the corner. June 18th is Father's Day. I know, it feels like we just got through Mother's Day and now it's Father's Day. So start shopping. And Daddy might like some of this new Bush beer because, uh, I guess, Bush Peach Lager. That's right. Bush Peach Lager. On sale now. I, I, I don't know, but maybe, maybe. But anyways, again, speaking of people winning things, maybe my... Miami Heat will win tonight against the Celtics at 8.30 p.m. tonight. Go Heat. And speaking of basketball, our boy Steph Curry over at the Warriors. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, you didn't win this year, Warriors. But he's got his eye on something else. Bourbon. That's right. So Steph Curry's brand new bourbon is just about out. It's right here. It's called Gentleman's Cut Bourbon. Okay, so he started this about five to seven years ago, probably when he was winning all the playoffs. But he teamed up with a nice bourbon company in Boone County, Kentucky, and they came up with Gentleman's Cut. This is 
$80 a bottle, and you can get it only online right now at gentlemenscutbourbon.com. It's got honey, fresh vanilla bean, and rich caramel tastes in it. So check out Steph Curry's new bourbon if you are a NBA or Warriors fan. Okay. All right. I've made some really cool finds this week. The first, if you've seen my Facebook thread this week, you saw that I made banana bread. Well, me and part of my team made banana bread. So I picked up this. It's a Chiquita banana bread mix. I picked it up right at the local grocery store, and it's a simple recipe. You cut up the bananas, put your mix in, and then it said, put milk in it. Uh -uh. I didn't put milk in it. Crunchata. That's right. And look how nice they came out. Beautiful, and they're delicious. That rumchata just got that yummy rumchata taste. Mixes really good with the banana bread. You make it in cupcake form. It just has a different taste than when it's in that loaf form. So this, you guys, is to die for. If you're going to someone's house, picnic this summer, bring along a little rum chata banana bread cupcakes. All right. For the fun stuff, I love strawberries. I love strawberries, and I've been munching on these. They're kind of melted because I just had them out in the pool. Hence, I've got bathing stuff. But these are called drunken strawberries. That's what they look like, okay? They're amazing. And I'm going to put it up on my page and my TikTok later tonight. Yes, we have a TikTok, so make sure you follow us on TikTok. But here's a video of how to make them. You guys, you need a perfect summertime poolside. You guys, you need a perfect summertime poolside snack. Drunken strawberries. That's what I said, drunken strawberries. So simple. Grab your strawberries, put them in a nice little container. Drunken strawberries. So simple. Grab your strawberries, put them in a nice little container. Submerge them in rosé wine, rosé all day. Put them in your refrigerator for two hours. Take them out, parchment paper, Put them on the parchment paper with sugar. Drizzle sugar over it. Put it on. <laughs> Got me. You guys, you're so good. Perfect, perfect, perfect munch food. You can also do it with grapes. Take your grapes, marinate them. Grapes, you want to use a nice sweet red. But these, I use my rosé. You want to use rosé with your strawberries. With grapes, you want to use like a red moscato or something. Same exact thing. Marinate for two hours, then put it in the freezer with a sugar dusting. You have to re-dust after it comes out of the freezer. Just a little extra sweet yum on there. Amazing. Just the perfect, perfect. Actually, you know, you can back up. When you've got your wine and you're out by the pool and you don't want it to get cold, freeze some grapes and then drop some grapes in your wine. They act just like an ice cube, but it doesn't water down your grapes or your wine. I'm telling you, got so much good stuff for you today. Okay, so you guys, what are you doing? Where you are? Where are you and what are you drinking? Let me know. I see a lot of you watching, but I don't know who you are because I say hi. What's going on? What did you travel this weekend or did you go out? Did you stay in? Were you worried about the uh debt ceiling thing? Like, what's going on with you guys? All right, so. I was going through TikTok and I found all these crazy people. Judy! What's shaking, Judy? She's drinking a white Russian. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like I said, on TikTok, I was watching all these crazy people making stuff. And if you remember back a few months ago, I did something called the Blackout Rage Gallon, where these young people were filling a gallon jug with water and chugging it with booze and stuff. This is kind of like the same thing, but for more adults. So here's what I found they're doing. Grab a bottle of Tito's, you know, our unofficial sponsor of MD's Gin Milk Channel. Hint, hint, Tito's people. Grab yourself some cute little fun things. I travel to your favorite place. Hmm. I'm adulting and drinking water. Boo. Okay. This is a wine punch drink mix. So... I got two of these because you're supposed to put one in a 16 ounce water bottle and two water bottles fit in a one liter of Tito's. So grab these, open them up. Now I have not tried this yet, so 
We'll see. You're supposed to dump them in. Dumping them in. All right, we're dumping this in. This better be good or I've just wasted an entire bottle of Tito's. Hawaiian Punch, I used to love Hawaiian Punch growing up, so. There's sugar-free, so that's a good thing. This is sugar-free. The Hard Rock. Manda, you're at the Hard Rock? Oh, my God. Okay, shake it up. I love the Hard Rock, you guys. $5 blackjack all summer long at the Hard Rock in Hollywood. Blackjack and three-card poker, $5. That's in the um, sports bar area all summer long. Okay. Hopefully this is dissolved enough. Let's see what we got. Oh, it smells just like wine punch. All right. Take your glass. Fill the ice. Someday I'm going to have an ice maker back here. Kevin, want the truth? Doing a nebulizer right now. What? <laughs> oh, are you not feeling too well? I'm sorry. All right. Okay. So our Hawaiian Punch Tito's. So I'm just following what everybody did. So we'll see how this goes. But if it was up to me, I would just do the Hawaiian Punch. But they're suggesting lemonade. So we've got our Hawaiian Punch Tito's. We're going to put a little lemonade in here. Now this is one of those really, really big glasses from the Hard Rock. And then top it off with some spray. Okay. That's it. So it's kind of like a lemonade Hawaiian punch fizzy McFister. Stir it up a little bit. I don't, I, I have no idea what this is going to taste like. Okay. Oh. <laughs> mm. It's good. It's really good. Well, a lot of work, but Tastes really good. So, okay, that is our version, kind of like the Blackout Rage Gale, but this is our Tito's Hawaiian Punch Rage Poolside Yum for this summer, you guys. And you're going to need a snack. You're going to need a snack when you're pooling or boating or whatever. So, I found these goldfish, Old Bay goldfish. Okay. There's only like three left in here because I ate almost the whole bag so far. I'm telling you, you've got your Hawaiian Punch Kool-Aid Hawaiian Punch drink. What do I get? Nebulizer. Isn't that like a space martini? <laughs> you guys are funny back there. Okay. All right. So you've got your unofficial sponsor of MD's Jimmo channel, Cheetos, Hawaiian Punch with your mixers, your Old Bay Goldfish Crackers, you've got your Rum Chana, Rum Chata Banana Bread Cupcakes, your Rosé All Day, and your Drunken Strawberries. I don't think there's anything better right now than all this. So that's about it for us, you guys. I don't know where to start, but I'm going to go take a dip in the pool and enjoy all these treats. So... Happy half birthday to me. Happy birthday to Adrian over there. And Kevin, we hope you feel better with your uh, space martini. And go heat tonight, everybody. Happy Memorial Day. Cheers. Don't forget our sponsors. <laughs>